Welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be an advice reading for Aquarius, okay? This is going to be for Aquarius and for those who have Aquarius anywhere in their chart. If you're feeling conflicted about something at this very moment, and you felt drawn to play this video, then perhaps this is for you, okay? So show me the messages for Aquarius, please. What is the advice for Aquarius feeling conflicted? Okay, please bring Aquarius clarity. Show me the messages, please. These cards are so hard to shuffle. Wow, someone's resistant. Okay. Yes, I said someone's resistant and what card comes out? Refusing to see. I can feel that resistance. Show me more, please, for Aquarius. In love. Show me more, please, for Aquarius, please. Two more. Perfect. All right. At the bottom of the deck. Okay, I have refusing to see sadness and isolation. Share the love. Change your focus. At the bottom of the deck, I have heal. Okay. I feel like you're in a situation, Aquarius, right now where it's been so difficult for your person to to come together and be on the same page about something. That it has somehow isolated you into sadness. I feel like you try to avoid certain conversations with your person because when you try to express this particular situation, they may stonewall you, try to change the subject. Um, they talk their way out of it. But I feel strongly that this is something that needs to be discussed, needs to be addressed. But timing is everything. Timing is everything. Spirit is wanting you to sit on this. And I know you're like, well, why am I sitting on this? Because time is everything. I feel like your timing may be off with this person. Or your tone. You know, the difference between an argument and a conversation is timing and tone. So spirit is wanting you to, to let it go for now. Okay? Because crowning this change your focus is refusing to see. It has that stubborn energy that I was picking up in the very beginning. The resistance. Your person is not willing to see things for what they are at this moment. They're not willing to see that situation. But, you know, are you now going to pull away from this person? Because I feel the energy of wanting to pull away at times and isolate yourself from them because of how hurt you feel about this. But spirit doesn't want you to do that. There's just a need for divine timing, just to know the right time to discuss this. So continue with this relationship, continue loving up your, on your person. This is one <clears throat> situation in the relationship. This is not the entire relationship, okay? So do not pull back, do not resist, <clears throat> gosh, do not resist this person. My throat chakra is a little blocked. I feel like because there's something that you need to say, like you want to talk, you want to be able to get it all out. You want a solution. That's why your energy at the bottom of the deck is heal. You feel like you want to heal from this and you can't heal from this until you speak your peace, until your person is willing to see it from your point of view. Okay. 
But for now, <clears throat> there is a need for you to sit with this and process it some more. But, okay? And then release it. Just for now. Just for now. There are other things that, that require your focus at this moment, okay? There are other elements in this relationship, okay? You two love each other. It's just that this person is very, very resistant, okay? So we're going to get in the tarot and pull some more advice cards for some clarity, okay? Because I know you definitely, you desperately want to heal this situation, whatever it is, all right? So let's, let's go into tarot now. Show me the messages for Aquarius. Show me the messages for Aquarius, please. I love this bird. I connect to it so well. I can channel it so well when I pull the cards in this format. It's one of my favorites. If anybody's been watching my channel, it's one of my favorites. Okay, I have the judgment reverse here. This is the nine of pentacles, the three of swords, and the queen of cups. At the bottom of the deck, the queen of wands, okay? It's crazy that I literally pull the same kind of energies with these cards, okay? And again, I see you here as someone who's very independent, okay? Very mature, always willing to manifest better, always wanting to heal, um, I see you getting what you want through hard work. So putting in the work and getting what you want, standing on your own, doing that, taking care of yourself, wanting to be in this connection, but not needing to be with this person wanting to be. Okay. And I see that this situation is really heartbreaking. Whatever this is, this that's causing you this sadness and this alienation and confusion. It's been really hard. I feel like it's silenced you. I feel like you don't feel like yourself. With the judgment reverse crowning this, there's somebody here who's just not self-aware of what they're doing to you. They lack the self-awareness. This is like there's a lesson that they're unwilling to learn. It's like they don't know what to talk to. This person doesn't know what to say. This is why they keep putting it off. Because they don't have a solution to the problem that makes any sense. Okay? And this is really bothering you. You're the Queen of Cups energy. You're someone who feels very deeply. And you feel empathy for this person. And you have sincere feelings and love for this person. And whenever they're feeling a certain way, you want to help them through it. But you're like, why are you not showing up for me? Okay, Queen of Wands. Yeah, you're very kind, you're very loyal, very attractive, well-liked. You value your family and your home life. And you're like, all I want is this person to reciprocate. Okay, show me more for Aquarius. This one to come out for four of Wands Reverse. Yeah, now's the time. There's a lot of unhappiness between you and your person. In regards to the situation, so there's a time for you to just pause and relax. And I did say that. You have to take a break right now and swallow this situation and change your focus. Change your focus about it. Okay? Now's not the time to approach this. Show me this. I'm going to show me Aquarius' this person's feelings in regards to this situation. What's Aquarius' person's feelings in regards to this situation that Aquarius needs advice on. What's Aquarius' this person's feelings? Well, I was going to bring out three. Give it some time. Give it some time right now. Because I got the Three of Pentacles, the Death, Scorpio energy, the Three of Wands reverse, and the Star, Aquarius energy, your energy. Give it some time. The Wheel of Fortune reverse at the bottom of the deck. It's like right now is not the time. 
it's like there's a lot going on outside of this situation with your person. Okay? There's a lot going on externally. So just give it time. It's not the right time. I was saying this from the beginning. It's like this person wants to come together with you. Three of Pentacles. Okay? It's just that they're going through some sort of transition right now. They are trying to change. They Because they need to. They're trying to let go of something because they realize with the three of wands reversed, this person realizes that whatever they try, however they try to go about this was unrealistic. Okay. Three of wands reversed is an un unrealistic plan. You know, it, it's, you can't, it fails to deliver. Whatever plan that they had to handle the situation, you know, it's like it didn't work. They didn't plan accordingly. They can't move forward right now. The Three of Wands reverses the, the inability to move forward right now. But they are trying to, you know, change their ways in regards to the situation. Trying to strip away something that's worthless. Something that they're trying to release. Okay? A worthless matter. They're trying to release it and come together with you. That's the ultimate goal. They want to work this out. So the star is saying, have hope. Okay? This person is like, they want you to stay hopeful. So, you know, just continue to try to have faith in this, that this is going to work out. Because your person definitely wants to come together with you on this situation. But the timing is just not aligned right now. Okay? So just, this is going to require patience. Spirit, please show me. Show me Aquarius' feelings in regards to this situation that Aquarius needs advice on. Okay? Wow. This is why you're here. Aquarius, you have some really strong feelings about this. With the King of Cups reverse, the, the Knight of Wands reverse, and the Ace of Cups reverse, you just feel like your person promises you a lot, but they don't deliver. They look out for themselves and their own needs. You feel like they're not showing up for you. There's a lot of sadness and pain here. Um, and whatever this situation is with the Empress reverse, you feel like your person is neglecting you, neglecting your needs. Um... And, and this situation is making you feel insecure because your person just makes like reckless decisions. I get this person being very overly confident and you're like, this is not going to work. This person, how does that benefit me? The King of Cozy Verge, you're like, this doesn't even benefit me. This person is just looking out for themselves. Wow. Show me Aquarius' challenges. I got the Queen of Swords Reverse. I feel like there's somebody involved in the situation. This Queen of Swords reverse is someone who can't be trusted, okay? Um, this may be an ex, a child, or children's mother, okay? And with the Hierophant reverse, this is Taurus energy. This is just foolishness. This is like an unconventional situation, an unconventional lifestyle. Not the normal, it's not a normal situation with an ex, okay? So your challenge is, is dealing with this queen of wands, this person who's who rebels against conforming to a normal, traditional situation, a traditional lifestyle. It's just foolishness. It's absolute foolishness. So you're dealing with this foolish queen of wands. It's your challenge having this person in the picture. So this is a situation. There's somebody on the outside that's causing problems, Okay. So I got the Queen of Pentacles reversed as well at the bottom of the deck. This person neglects their own responsibilities. So I feel strongly that this is an ex. Somebody that is invested in your person somehow financially. It could be business. It could be a child or children. Um, but there's something that's, I feel like it has to do with money with the Queen of Pentacles reversed. But this person is not doing what they're supposed to do financially and they expect your person to take over. And you're like, what the hell is all of this? So let me, let's get advice for you because their challenge is willing to come together with this and be able to deal with this Queen of Swords reverse. And their foolishness. This is advice. Show me advice, please. I said foolishness and I got the full reverse. <laughs> Aquarius energy. Show me more. For advice, please. Wow. I got the full reverse, the Knight of Cups reverse, the Knight of Swords reverse. A 
at the bottom of the deck, I got the two of swords. You feel like in spite of the situation, the person that's supposed to, you know, have things in control is your person. All right? Because with the full reverse, I'm getting somebody who makes poor decisions, very impulsive ones. Just absolute foolishness. Okay? With the Knight of Cups reversed, though, to be clear, your person has no love for this person. Okay? They have no love for this person. With the Knight of this person, this third party, this ex. With the Knight of Swords reversed, this is like a lot of conflict in and out. So all this drama with this person is what keeps the situation stuck. And that's why there's a two of swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay? It keeps this whole situation, it keeps everybody stuck. The foolishness, not willing to come together, the in and out, the hurt, the words, the um hurtful words, the, the drama, somebody walking off, somebody upsetting someone's plans. I feel like y'all try to make a plan for this, your person tries to make a plan for this, and the person is not willing to come together with them. Okay? They're not emotionally invested in this person. But your person is making the wrong decisions. This could also be your person's ex making this wrong decisions. So I asked for advice, but the spirit wanted me to see the the situation further before advice. So show me advice for Aquarius. Let's get to the main part of this reading. Show me advice. I got the Five of Cups, the Eight of Cups reversed, and the Chariot and the Lovers reversed at the bottom of the deck. Gemini energy, Cancer energy, a lot of um, a lot of Cancer actually, a lot of water here could be connected with the Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. Okay, strongly Cancer energy. So this has brought a lot of sadness into your situation. Okay, you feel all these different these different feelings. There's guilt. There's remorse. There's regret. This is like, this is heartbreaking, but you're focusing on a negative and emotionally you're focusing on a negative. There's a fear of someone moving on. I feel like you feel stuck. Okay. It's like you keep returning back to the same situation. Every time you think that you guys move forward from it, it's like, it keeps coming back and keep, and it has you guys stuck. There's a lot of trust issues here. There's a lack of you of accountability. I feel like your person is not really holding themselves accountable for their part in this. So there's a lot of conflict and trust issues with the with the lovers reverse. But there is a victory here. It's going to require a lot of control, a lot of self discipline in order to come over this obstacle, like to get the situation under control. Show me more for advice, please, for Aquarius. Eight of Wands reversed. It's like somebody needs to take action and handle this situation, but they're avoiding that. So therefore, it's they're not let they're not, they're just letting things happen and not really coming together to get it under control. Okay, nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This is an ongoing battle in this situation. It's very weary. I feel you feeling very fatigued. But spirit is saying, keep pushing through. Okay. You can push through this, keep standing up for yourself, learn from the past failure of the situation and just hold your own in this. However, divine timing, okay? Now is not the time. You have to pause and focus on other things for now. And you and your person can revisit this. Sit with it, process it, release it. I always say that. I'm sorry about this glare from the light ring, okay? Because there is a victory here as long as you guys come together at the right time and talk about this. It has to be like a calm approach to this. Find the right time. Have faith in the future. Okay? Revisit this. This can work out if you two come together and work on it. That is the advice that I have for you. But now is not the time to focus on it. Now is the time to just focus on the love. All right? So those are the messages that I have for you, Aquarius, for this advice reading. If it resonated, be sure to tap that like button. I wish you this healing love. 
I wish you light and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.